November 17 is where you could start the tale. As historians know well, it's been 3,000 years since the Athenians set sail, six centuries since the city fell. But we don't need to take the calendar so far back to make sense of the scene. We can start in 73 when the soldiers attacked on November 17. On November 17, there had been thousands in the street. A rising against the hunter had begun. Occupying buildings, marching on their feet by the time the day was done. Tank treads on the campus of the university. It looked like a scene from a war. There in the cradle of democracy, the number dead was 24. On November 17, military rule continued with its backers from abroad. More blood on the hands of the Chicago school. More decades of kleptocratic fraud. More decades of brutality controlled by police force. No wonder that something had to give. Repressive people and some will resist, of course, if people have the will to live. On November 17, after so much blood was spilled, no surprise that soon after that day, in the armed resistance, the first man killed would be the station chief of the CIA. In the battle for a country, whether everyone knows why, there's nothing in between. Actions have consequences, sometimes people die, just like on November 17. On November 17, as the years ensued, the November 17 group disbanded. 19 years ago in 2002, just as the government demanded, Demetrius Koufantinus turned himself in, there by the Aegean Sea, still paying the price now for the original sin of 1973. On November 17, 